potential of the possible Trump peace plan to divide Jerusalem and make it a multiple capital site is troubling to a lot of the Israeli leaders, I'm certain. Now, as biblically significant as it was for President Trump to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, so it would be biblically oppositional for President Trump to divide this city as well. Now, how do you look at all that from the perspective of a geopolitical and biblical and prophetical perspective? Gary, from a geopolitical perspective, there is no way that any of the prime ministers or the leadership in Israel will ever allow uh, this division of the Jewish city of Jerusalem. It is the eternal, undivided capital for the Jewish people. Now, the Davidic covenant, when you go back and look at Second Samuel chapter 7, said that God is going to give Jerusalem to the Jewish people. God himself in Psalm 132, verses 13 and 14, said he has selected Jerusalem to dwell among his people forever. Zechariah chapter 6 and verse 12 says that the Lord has the idea, and what he's going to do is the Messiah will come, that's Jesus Christ, of course, and he will build his temple in the city of Jerusalem. And, of course, with all of these promises, with the activities that are foretold in the Word of God, there's not one Israeli leader who's ready to divide the city of Jerusalem. On the other side of that coin, that's exactly what the Palestinians want to have happen. They want Jerusalem, or at least some portion of it, to be the capital of their state called Palestine. Now, I am very thinking very tightly in my mind how in the world— can Trump negotiate that when Israel says no division of the city of Jerusalem? The Palestinians say we want a part of it. I mean, I don't know what you can pull out of the box to make that happen. And as we've all said, nobody knows what that peace agreement is all about except the president, Jared Kushner, and possibly Prime Minister Netanyahu. But he's not willing. Remember, Zechariah chapter 12 says that in the end times, the center of controversy in this world is going to be the city of Jerusalem. That is absolutely right, and we see that better coming into focus than we ever, ever have. Well, Jimmy, that really, uh, and we don't have time to go further on that, but when we consider that Jerusalem becomes that burdensome stone and it's just a difficult thing, I would have to say... If the president or Jared Kushner would actually come out and recommend a division, it would really make it more of a burdensome stone. So we'll find out, ladies and gentlemen. We don't know, but we're giving you updates as we know them from the Middle East on major issues that are affecting Israel. 